Hey Crypt Dwellers, Patty Pat here giving you Otake Crypt's anime review of Chaos Theory style. If you're unaware as to what the Chaos Theory part is, instead of picking out the most popular or the latest and greatest anime that's coming out from Japan, I instead am going on to Crunchyroll and hitting that random die and whatever comes up first, I have to watch it and then I'm going to review it for you. So, let's get things started. <laughs> Um, anyways, the synopsis here reads, oh shoot, in Bake Monagatari, the story centers on Kuyami, a third year high school student who has recently survived a vampire attack and finds himself mixed up with all kinds of apparitions, gods, ghosts, myths, and spirits. However, in Nisei Mo no Gatari, we pick up right where we left off and follow Koyami as the psychological twists develop deeper and deeper. Okay, so what I'm gathering at here is that this is not the first season because the Bake part suggests that there's something else. Um, also, I think I've seen like figurines and everything from this series. Um, some of the pic like the characters in the. Um, poster look really familiar, but um, anyways, so what I'm going to say is that I'm going to judge this thing by that very poster that I'm going to say it's a harem, because there's a lot of girls in it, and I don't even see this Koyami guy, so, and we know we're following him, so, yeah, harem, definitely, definitely harem. Okay, so, I hit the nail on that one, uh, it's definitely a with next to bonus, uh, some paranormal and some itchy, but you can't really have a harem anime without some etchy. It's boring otherwise. Um, so the anime starts off with a scene where Koyami, the guy we're following, um, and he's locked in a room, handcuffed, and apparently his kidnapper is also his super cray cray. I'm gonna put a box cutter in your mouth. And threaten you, girlfriend. Um, so that's interesting. And then it goes, it starts doing like flashbacks after that of his day prior to this scene where we get to mi like mix it up by meeting his other friends who have now be girls. And they're all ranging from exhibitionists to the girl next door. And all of them are like to proclaim that he should marry them instead of his crazy girlfriend and or they should become his mistress because both are okay in their eyes. Um, yeah, that's that's his life. It's hard being a high school student. Um, so I certainly come in not the beginning, uh, but I don't feel like I really missed a whole lot. Um, the series is only 11 episodes long, and it's split into two arc kind of stories based on his two sisters, one for each. Um, and basically he's trying to save them from the bad guy, but in this situation it's more like curses. It's paranormal! It's paranormal! Um, overall, I'm not really connected to any of the characters per se. I mean, They've got some attributes, but as a, they're not very rounded at this point, so I'm not really in love with any of them. Um, but what's kept me interested, at least, is that the art is very interesting. Like, you have play around with different angles and stuff like that. And the dialogue is pretty clever. Like, there's a lot of Japanese puns. And if you like Japanese puns, this is the anime for you. And that's all I've got for you. So, thanks for watching me on Talking Crips Anime Review Chaos Theory. I hope to see you guys again. You can check out more videos, cosplay profiles, and podcasts on otakucrypt.com. We'll see you around. Bye, guys.